trucks come, we stay on the grass, off the road until the trucks are fully stopped. Uh, this is my first vigil, uh, seeing the, the pigs uh, arrive and um, hearing the squeals and just the, the fear in their eyes and anxiety. They're actually really intelligent. They have feelings, they act exactly like us. They want to have freedom. Seeing these beautiful animals suffer like this, it keeps my motivation up and my anger. Seeing their eyes, their eyes are so scared and so very terrified. There was a pig on this truck that it seemed to be stuck under the others and it kept screaming. And the others couldn't get out of the way. They seemed to be on top of it. And a lot of them start to sniff their hand. It's so heartwarming to see so many activists here that actually have um, found the, the compassion in their heart to feel for these animals and to care for them for, the, for their last moments of their life. We know, we know what it's like in there because they get uh, either stunned or gassed. Sheer frustration that they're just in this, just for no reason. We don't need to eat them. I wish people that consume the flesh of these animals that they could hear these screams, that they would have the courage to expose themselves to this and hear it and open their eyes and their ears. And because I know so many would not be okay with this. If you've seen what I've seen just now, you, you're eating their anxiety. You're not just eating their meat, you're eating their anxiety and you're putting that in your body, in your soul. So I wish people had more courage. Look at what I've seen and go vegan.